Well, it's a scandal that has rocked all of college football. 19-year-old Jordan McNair died after an intense practice for the University of Maryland football team. Rick Ritter reports McNair's death was highlighted in an HBO investigation where his parents spoke out. Everybody is talking about this piece. It was part of an HBO investigation. Now, McNair's father said the head coach, DJ Durkin, made a promise to their family, adding that Jordan went from a healthy kid one day to needing a liver transplant the next. Coming out of McDonough High School, Jordan McNair was a budding star with dozens of college offers. But it was DJ Durkin and the Maryland Terps who landed the lineman's talents. He promised that you know, he would treat Jordan as, as if Jordan was one of his kids and make sure nothing happens to him and make sure he's okay. Two years after that promise, McNair died from a conditioning session of 100-yard sprints. No parents should have to bury the child. In an interview with HBO's Real Sports, Tanya Wilson and Martin McNair opened up about the unimaginable. We went from, here's a healthy kid Tuesday morning to, you're talking about a liver transplant Wednesday afternoon. Last week, the Board of Regents released its investigation findings into McNair's death, finding the university culpable. They said an hour and seven minutes passed after McNair's first symptoms of heat stroke to the time 911 was called. McNair died days later. Hindsight's 2020. Now let's, let's remember that. Hindsight's 2020. And I think if we would identify it earlier, and I think if we'd identified that early, we, it, it might have changed things. That report did recommend several changes, some that have already been taken. But McNair's parents slammed the findings on Tuesday, saying they want the board to accept legal and moral responsibility for their son's death. Jordan was extremely sick, extremely sick. Superman couldn't have came out of that. Now, there's another investigation still taking place into the culture of the Maryland football program. Meanwhile, head coach DJ Durkin, he remains on administrative leave. Now, new tonight, prosecutors with the state's attorney's office of Prince George's County, they've requested a full version of the report from Maryland's independent investigation as they consider potential criminal charges for the case. Back to you.